Hi, this is Priyanka and thanks for tuning in to GCP Sketchnote. Let's learn about Cloud Armor. Aaron and Sam have a rapidly growing internet-facing service and are looking to protect it from malicious attacks. They are looking into Cloud Armor, which helps defend against application and infrastructure level DDoS attacks from layer 3 to layer 7. It is essentially a DDoS protection service and a web application firewall that works in conjunction with HTTPS load balancing. The load balancing defends against layer 3 and layer 4 volumetric and protocol DDoS attacks, and Cloud Armor protects against layer 3 to layer 7 application level attacks along with allowing and denying specific IPs and geographies. Since it supports hybrid and multi-cloud deployments, the backend can even be an application in your own data center. Now, diving a little bit deeper, Layer 3, Layer 4 volumetric DDoS protection includes DNS amplification, SYN floods, ICMP floods, slow loris attacks, etc. Geographic and IP-based access controls include allowing and blocking certain geographies or IPs. And Layer 7 application layer traffic filtering includes SQL injections, cross-site scripting, and other OWASP top 10 risks. All the telemetry goes to cloud logging, cloud monitoring, and to security command center for analysis. Now, the details. Each cloud armor policy consists of a prioritized list of rules, as well as a default rule. Cloud armor evaluates an incoming request against each rule in the priority order. The first matching rule dictates the action to take, which is to allow or to deny the traffic. If the traffic doesn't match any rules, then the action of the default rule is applied. One policy can be attached to multiple backend services, but each service can only have a single Cloud Armor security policy. That's it for Cloud Armor. See you next time with another GCP sketchnote. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these quick learning bites.